Hello, this is J.E. Realize, and I can make no guarantee that this is going to be a quality video. This is a bit of a side tangent, a bit of a rambling, and a bit of how I would have probably saved your vision 2020 if I had any say in it. Of course, your Eurovision Song Contest is a Europe-based thing. No one's gonna listen to an American about such a thing, probably because an American ideally should know what the contest is about. Well, first off, that's stupid, and second off, that's a little bit elitist, but you know how it is with the pandemic just turning everything on its head. And because of that, well, a lot of events have to be either postponed, like, um, I don't know what events have been postponed, I don't know, certain conventions and such. There was a convention over at Fresno that got Postponed, or they got held in events where, or, or rather, they got adapted. It like, for example, World Wrestling Entertainment. They're doing shows now in empty stages, or they're getting canceled. Like, sadly, the Eurovision Song Contest is. Well, congratulations, guys! You managed to do what only two world wars have done in the past to the Olympics and the World Cup. But in all seriousness, though. I haven't heard all the 41 songs. In fact, I haven't heard any of those songs. I was hoping to do a podcast this year with a European Eurovision fan and basically talk about what songs we like from unique perspectives, a European and an American. Well, technically American. I am born here. But, well, that can't really happen. I decided to retcon all of Eurovision 2020 because none of the songs are going to be performed. Maybe some of the performers, uh, some of the performers, but I'm not counting on it. But we might just get back here. So, though, I received the news about uh, mid-March that Eurovision was going to be cancelled. Originally, the idea was they were going to decide once they were all ready to build the stage, but they decided early that, no, this problem is too serious, we can't even have events with more than 100 people anyway, so we're going to cancel it. But, basically though, I thought, why did you have to cancel? You could have made some concessions. Like, I got inspired by World Wrestling Entertainment for all things to probably come up with a solution to this mess. You could still have Eurovision, but you could still, you know, keep everyone safe. But the solution? Just put it all online. Long version, just listen, okay? I have the first off disclaimer. I have no guarantee that any of this will be practical. I'm just a guy spitballing here. If you have any more expertise, just keep that in mind, okay? So let's get. Ugh, dang it, the door. Excuse me. You know how it is. This door just keeps giving me problems. It does. You see that? It does that. I gotta put a slip in here to make sure that everything is fine. Ugh, I need to get padding for that door, or better door hinges, either or. But, basically, plan is simple, just build the stage, but don't let anyone in besides who is essential. The cameraman, the, the set designers, everything, and of course the acts, and basically send in an act. I'm sorry, I cannot work under these conditions. Everything is just rowdy rowdy piper out there. But let's get back in. Just just have the essential people on on there around the stage just to make sure it's working. Just minimum stuff and then have the people just have the performers come in, perform their songs, then leave, and then the other performers come in. And just do that for all 41 songs. Here's the thing, the rehearsals take longer than in the live shows. They have like eight or so minutes of setting up for the next act. I've seen a little bit about those videos. So you just have them rec pre-recorded and just put it all up on an online server. And uh, have people vote for maybe a period of two weeks, maybe a bit less, but you get it. Like, still give people their songs, but not have that whole Eurovision thing yet. 
This is gonna be the death of me. This video is gonna be the death of me, isn't it? But you just have each of these people get that one performance and nail it. You don't have all these rehearsal rehearsals. You might do a bit of rehearsing outside the stadium, whatever you do it, but that's it. You have them do it one time, you upload it all and just reuse the footage. If you still want to broadcast it live, the semifinals and the final live, keep in mind that the voting won't be traditional because 10, 15 minutes, not many people are going to have the time for that. Just set it up for a few weeks. Just set up the voting for a few weeks and just have them advance to rounds. Just simplify the process, okay? If the and then for the voting results, you like have the hosts if they have picked hosts and the executive supervisor of the EBU live stream from their home offices, the results, you know, don't have anything fancy. Don't have that much gatherings. Use pre-recorded footage. Just cut down on all the loose angles. And here's the thing, because of the because of the fact that you are just limiting the amount of content that it has, you don't even need to make the shows that long if you're broadcasting it on television. But you're going to say, I'm going to have a lot of flaws in this plan. Well, let's face it. This is not a normal time period. Eurovision got cancelled. You could have worked a way around it. I mean, WrestleMania 36 was still held in the WWE Performance Center. And you might think, well, you're comparing apples and oranges. No! They're both held in stadiums. Rather, they were supposed to be both held in stadiums with tens of thousands of people. Mostly. You, having people watch perform, it, 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 like I just got inspiration. That's all you can say. I'm got. I'm a guy that thinks. And, you know though, here the most serious part is a lot of people still like Eurovision, even if they're not fans of Eurovision, even if they don't dedicate themselves to the national finals and everything. It would still be nice to have those songs playing that one Saturday morning if you live in the United States. Well, the Saturday afternoon, but you get the point. Uh, that one Saturday evening in Europe. Just to calm the nerves because not a lot of people can go outside these days. They're kind of stuck in here. Nothing they can do. It would be nice to cheer the spirits up and give them the authentic performances. And at the very end... You don't have to have the winner just randomly pop out of nowhere on the stage. You can just air the same performance they did again as the winner's reprieve. And then a day or so later, you can live stream the winner receiving the trophy from one or two of the hosts in the private setting with no people besides them. Except the cameraman, of course. Just... <sighs> I'm only saying this because... I'm... I, I still kind of like Eurovision. Even though Eurovision isn't quite what I expected. It, I'm still kind of a fan of the sport. And I'm thinking other countries, they have to deal with the same... I mean, other places, they have to deal with the same problems. And some of them are adapting. So, that being said... There was no reason for Eurovision to not adapt. Besides, that all all that stuff is admittedly kind of expensive. You could have dialed it back a bit anyway. For just at least one year. And, and at the very least, you wouldn't have had all these loose ends. It's like you have, you have more cancel songs in this contest alone than through a whole... I don't know if all of Eurovision history... I mean, there were a fair amount, dozens of songs canceled throughout Eurovision... I don't know if it beats it, but dang, it's just absolutely brutal. But saying that, I still respect their decision. I still respect the EBU's decision, even if I don't like it. And whatever you come up with, well, you know, I'm just a guy from California who has had no expertise in designing these sorts of things, not even a decent subscriber count on YouTube. 
just a guy rambling and no worth no work experience no credibility whatsoever with that being said this has been je realize and if you've stayed until the end of this video thank you i mean seriously thank you you i i didn't expect you to stay through it and you did, did it anyway like but seriously I've been looking at the viewer count and not a lot of people have been watching, but you know how it is. Do the feedback thing. Like, comment, subscribe. You know, that would help me out a lot. I'm trying to get this YouTube thing going because I have nothing else. I can't even get a job, which means I wouldn't have been eligible for paid leave or anything. And I guess I'll see you next time. I mean, next video, I think, oh yeah, reading trash scripts. Yeah, I could totally do that. And, you know, hope your vision gets better from here on.